Hey there, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to present you the latest features you must not miss from the last big Node.js update, and I'm talking about Node.js version 12. Let's get directly into it. First, TLS 1.3 is now used by default. TLS stands for Transport Layer Security, and its job is to secure the layer of communication between servers and browser. TLS 1.3 basically comes with improvement of speed, security, and I will not go into too much details about this, I will make sure to leave a link in the description where you can read more about it. Second, async stack traces. Previously, when you would run into errors, when inside of multiple async await functions, the stack would not give the trace for all the async functions that led to the error happening. As you can see in this test code, if we run this code, we are going to produce a simple error that is going to output test, but in our case we want to check how the stack actually looks like. So I'm going to go right here in the terminal and I'm going to say node index, hit enter, and as you can see right here we have the stack trace of the error which instantly gives us more details than before because it is showing us clearly that first the line 23 was run which is this one, and then we got into async function one, which is this one, and then we got into async function two, and then we have async function three. So you can easily debug async await functions much more faster. Three, spread syntax performance. They are stating that in V8 that is inherited in Node.js version 12, it greatly improves the performance of spread elements that occur at the front of the array, as you can see in the example that I have on the screen. 4. Public class fields. Now Node.js 12 has support for public class fields, and here you can check out what this is about. So instead of listing all of the variables with default values just like this, you can instead specify them at the top with a default value. Therefore, now if your class that you're writing doesn't even need a specific parameter, then you can omit the constructor altogether. 5. List formats. Node.js 12 now supports the list format method for generating language sensitive lists just like these. You would first need to initialize the class with the locale code that you need, and also there is a second parameter which is optional where you can specify different options for the format that you want to generate. 6. Private class fields. As with the public class field feature, we also now have the ability to specify a public variable inside of a class, and you can do that by adding a hashtag in front of it. And now the last things worth mentioning are that 1. The LTS stable version will be out in around October, so for the moment I would not suggest to go into production with Node version 12. Second, the LTS version should be maintained until around 2022, that's why it's called long-term support. Three, Node.js version 12 inherits all the changes that Google released for the V8 engine version 7.2 back in December 2018. Four, the HTTP module's parser is now defaulted to use LHTTP library, which they claim is 116% faster. 5. Experimental Diagnostic Reports New experimental feature that allows you to create and generate a report on certain events. This report helps you diagnose problems that include crashes, performance memory leaks, high CPU usage, and more. 6. Startup improvements. Now in Node.js version 12, the code cache for built-in libraries are generated in advance, which ultimately gives around 30% speed up in start time. And this will conclude this short video on the main new things from Node.js version 12. I will leave all the resources and materials that I've used to create this informational video in the description. Thank you for watching and make sure to leave a like if you feel like it and a subscribe for more videos. Bye bye.